how's it going? I'm not dead yet. Give it a couple days. <laughs> ah, pessimism in full effect. Anyway, hi. Oh, I should probably adjust my camera. Let me step back. Well, it's about where it was. And I'll still adjust it up a little bit. There, now my head's at least in shot. More than it was. Alright. I mean... It, okay. I was, about, I was about to say game. You know it's in slot, right? Oh, I didn't update what I was streaming, did I? Sure didn't. Missed a step in setting up. <laughs> okay, everything's fine now. Uh, ping. Don't need to worry about that ping. A lot of people get pings as soon as they go live, by the way. <sighs> There's some days where I... There's some days where, like, I know I should have, like, a list set up on the side of things I want to talk about, but they'll probably just pop in my head, and we'll talk about things as we go. Anyway. 4.30, huh? No. Oh. Hey, I got stuff done today. That's not the worst thing I can do with my day, with my life. I got, I got things done. I got things done before today's stream. I'll probably do more tonight. Tell you guys, it's been a wild ass week. It's been a wild ass last uh, week, last seven days for me. And I'll probably talk about it more. I'll probably talk about it more prevalently, Keep your more posture actively, straight. as we go along here. Let's get warmed up. Alternate bringing your knees up to touch the ring con. Be careful not to hit the ring con against the leg strap. Last time. Yes, just like that. Next is the heel lift stretch. Bring the insides of your ankles up toward the ring con. This stretch targets your lower back. Last time. Yes, just like that. Next is the back straightening stretch. Take a big step forward oh, and drop God. your hips. Focus on lowering your body without putting too much weight on your front foot. Man, my diet. Be sure to keep my your diet lower back has straight. Been a lot better these last few weeks. Or this last week. Let's do one more of each. It has been rough to get moving. Because of everything going on All in the right. life at the moment. Good. Finally, spread your feet. Raise the ring con above your head and lean to the side. Focus on leaning to the side without bending forward. This should stretch both the muscles in your sides and in your arms. Let's do one more of each. Job. There we go. Sorted. Tucked away. All Gucci to go. Another ping. I hate when I get pings right as I start streaming. That always seems to happen. Okay. So, oops. What did I leave myself with when I got here? Let's see. Okay, a couple games to start off on a good note. Mini games, rather. Chill time. Alright. 
I'm gonna need my chair. I'm gonna need this chair. right now. <laughs> okay, are we good? Okay, we're good. Ready? Except with how this is, with how sensitive this this uh ring con is I have to hold this. Timing is terrible. Awesome. Oh. I'm gonna hit every single bomb all the way through. Okay, you know what? We're we're gonna miss that. Miss me with that. Squeeze your abdominal muscles and breathe. Outstanding. There we go. I think as long as I get this long jump here, I'll actually uh, get the get the prize at the end. Do it a little early. I get that plank. And just fold it tight. Okay, not the two not the two K, but at least I got nineteen hundred. I never lifted up the ring con. <laughs> Why is my guy going? <laughs> Help the programming in this game sometimes. Also, did I get four skill points? Is that what I just saw? Well, this is lighting up, but if you think yes. So, I know I had some skills that were five. I like to see what they are. Okay. This don't really need. That don't really need. Tricep kickbacks. You know what? I'll save it for a five, actually. We'll do. We'll do arrow shoot. We'll do arrow shoot, and then we'll go to a proper stage. I refuse. With all with all facets of my body. I refuse. I refuse to play Smackback. It does not work how they intended. Forward. Lean back. You can go further back, but it's not what the game wants. Alright. Pop my neck. Better. Loosey goosey, baby. Ready? Go! Right, pull back and ease to slow down. Let go. Roll it back. Oh, that was moving, huh? I'm godlike. I got the edge, but I still got it. Awesome. Thousand hours playing Sol TF2 Soldier teaches you how to lead your shots. Hold on, we're gonna pull back. Drop. I say that, and then I and then I barely graze two points, and then I miss the other one. Look at me bringing around town. Oops, too far one direction. All right, we're going. We're going for the style. Style points. Always go for style. 
4K, new best. Still an A rank, but hey, that's all I needed to finish that. Poo. I am on top of my game today. Still not gonna make you play Smackback, but you know, you can hope that I'll play Smackback at some point. Oh, I have a skill point. Why didn't I drink the skill point juice? Um, I'm missing sesame seeds. Well, I'll probably get some at some point, but I'm gonna go stock up on sesame seeds really quick here before we go to the next level, which is a boss battle, but still. Ah. Okay, yep. I bought you out of house and home. Ingredients. Give me them sesame seeds. I know you sell them. You sell them not. There's sesame seeds. Mine... Why don't I just pilfer your wares? What was it? What can't I bring? 400? Yeah, 400 for all that. Okay. And, God. It, it's without fail, I swear. I'm sorry. Every time without fail, I get a pay. Okay. Oh. Yoga spe specific fight. Oh, is this. Alright, this is the fight against Guranma. Guranma! Okay, well, what do we have? Tree pose, tear pose, warrior one pose, warrior two pose, real time. Can't really do warrior three pose because I have I have the balance I have the balance of an egg. And boat pose is not necessary. So we'll start from the beginning and go from there. Three pose. Even though I'm literally, I'm literally because like I can do this. But as soon as my arms go up, oh wait, never mind. I'm balancing. I'm not losing my balance, hold on. My balance is getting better. Okay, let's switch sides. Don't forget to switch uh, legs. Also, my left, <laughs> my left quad started to cramp up during that, even though I'm not like full on balancing. Oh, 
Oh, they got their leg up higher than I do. That's probably how they're able to balance so well. Yeah, I lost my... I'm gonna lose my balance if I do that. Like if I had something to help me balance, I'd be balancing more. Or I'd be able to do those better. Like if I just had like a wood block that came up to about my knee height, I'd use that to help me balance more. Because like staying like this, this isn't that bad of a problem, but as soon as my arms go above my head, I get wobbly. Both arms rather. Alright. I like how I started off this exercise something with this this screen session of Ring Fit with with two mini games to get into it and now I'm doing two boss fights. Good job. Polar opposite like, activities. Yeah. 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 Man, whoever the whoever the hype man is for is really excited about this clashing fit it's a stand battle. This is literally a stand battle. You can see the stands in action. Right. I remember this fight. This fight's actually kind of a joke. You kind of can just wash her because every attack she does is a is a counter attack or something that can be counter attack. So you literally do double damage each turn. She doesn't have an element, I just realized. Oh, I actually guard. I thought she, I thought every attack was a counter attack. Well, I have been taught wrong this day. Please don't do that. Please don't. De please definitely don't do that. Oh man, it's been forever since I've been a warrior one. Oh, fully? Wow. They want to go full on. Is it enough to... I guess it's full of, enough like that. Okay. Also stretched off my calf, which has been cramping all day.
There's one. Okay, let's switch sides. Don't forget to switch legs. I still like Revolve Crescent Lunge more, but this one's not bad. God damn it. You're moving a bit too fast. Almost all of my effort is going to not falling over right now. <laughs> Core strength. Is this going to be? Seated forward. Yep, seated forward. Woof. Pressing firmly on the ring con. Keep squeezing the ring con. Upper change tip is the one doing the hard version, and the player avatar is doing the lazy version. Be sure to stay hydrated. Am I trying to become a VTuber? <laughs> Shots fired, all one. Okay. So how long until this stuff is... Oh, it's ready. How long until this one? Two turns left. This one is ready last turn, I think. <sighs> Alright. More tree pose with me doing it half ass because I don't have balance. I think, I think the thing with this fight, she just has a lot of health, but she also uh, opens herself up for many guard, for many counter attacks throughout this fight. Keep squeezing. Cool. 
Grandma said, I said that grandma. Yeah. Okay. My finger wants to pop and I that knuckle. That knuckle on my finger that likes to pop uh, and feels fantastic to pop is like shunt or shunted or stunted or something like that. One more? No, no, not one more. At least not right now. Okay. Continue, my friends. Front to back balance is better than my left to right. Slowly return to the starting position. Squat and hold that position. There you is. Squat time. Squat time. White squats or just regular squats? Okay. Lower your hips. I just noticed that she's watching the battle above her. I don't think I've ever seen any other mass opponent that does a counterattackable thing actually watch the battle unfold. I'm never okay. Hang on, this is gonna take a minute. I've never gotten this lightheaded. I'm doing an activity like that. Okay. Let me, let me just take a minute here. Let me take a long minute here. Hold on. That, oh boy. Something happened with that squat that just made my whole world kind of come to a standstill. I, I got like, I got incredibly lightheaded. I got incredibly lightheaded to the point that my, the shelf I'm using on the side here helped keep me balanced. My hand on the, okay, I can let go of it. My hand on the shelf was doing like a, Pull, like a pull back maneuver kind of like this while I was trying to hold on to it for balance and I was like oh I'm like one more second of squatting away from just falling from passing out let me get some water in me I 
apparently trying to breathe my water because I can feel a cough coming. <coughs> Here we go. Alright. I think that's sorted. Holy cow, that is terrifying and not fun. Oh, speaking of squats, go back to squats. Well, not as intense of a squat. Up we go. Yep, this is bad though. Lucky skills and I'm fine. Good luck. Just. I can do that one. I would like to finish that one actually. Let me get my head on straight again. God, I hate this. Like, this is a combination of a couple things. It's a combination of the fact that I'm not getting the best sleep possible at night anymore, and then I'm using coffee to supplement, or to not supplement, to correct that. Whew. sleeping as well, I'm either not eating as much or I'm not eating the right things because I'm just reaching for what's behind me or what I've thrown on the shelf down here for my snack because I keep non-perishable things on the shelf over here for snacks. <sighs> okay. Okay, switch okay, legs. Okay, let's switch sides. Don't forget to switch legs. Man, I'm only like 12 minutes in. Actually, probably closer to 10 minutes in to actually working out in some capacity and I'm getting lightheaded. That's not a good sign. Good thing I've scheduled a doctor's appointment already.
Okay. Not a KO, but it's close. You should feel it in your stomach, not your arms. Oh, that's a that's something I can mention here. So, so for the first time two for his first time in two years, effectively the first time since first time since before I lost a hundred plus pounds. Finally set up that appointment to go see my doctor. I've been saying I've been needing to do it for the past three months of the release now. And because other things have come into play. Nice. Because other things have come into play that have basically been like either you go see a doctor right now. Or you're not going to have a good health to look forward to in, in a week. I finally set up a doctor's appointment. Which is going to be interesting what they tell say say to me and tell me. Because I am going to be... Turn your exercise into experience. What they have on record is me pose. at least 100 pounds over what they're going to be used to seeing. Charge your squat power, but don't overextend yourself. Release toward victory! Sure, let's check it. Let's see why my po why I'm getting lightheaded doing right simple yoga Michelle. exercises. I say simple. A lot of yoga isn't that simple. Measuring. Please do not move your thumb. Well, let's start that anyway. Yeah, let's look on like 110, 115. Well, at least it was a good warm up. Although I'm dying, although I am dying, I need to keep pushing. Now, I don't think, I don't think we're to the point yet where Drago has multiple forms yet. compliment I think he complimented us I don't know come on let's run wait is this the one I oh this isn't the one All right there's no materials here I can just kind of go willy-nilly crazy with my stuff interesting what happens when I go to the doctor and what they're gonna say because I haven't had I'm gonna do a basic physical but I haven't had a checkup for I haven't had any kind of checkup on my on my physical status I haven't had any checkup on my physical status for over two years I haven't had any checkup on my asthma for over two years for over five years I think actually and it's been at least ten years since I checked in on CPAP stuff because I'm being negligent about that which you should not be but I'm just terrified of going to the doctor What's up, buddy? Me? A girl never reveals her secrets. Hmm. That was a 
pleasant conversation, actually. Reform Drago is kind of a bro. Anyway, because my arms are spaghetti right now, let's start off. Let's start off light and go onward from there. Hiya! Prescription, you need to start taking these pills. Yes. Just get a goddamn laundry list of things I have to start taking care of. So, okay. Oh, come on, man. I'm doing my best. Okay. I think that's why I'm the most terrified to go see the doctor as is right now. Because, you know, I'm Very nice. without any other okay. input, I'm doing what I think is the best for myself health wise. I mean, I'm doing a hell of a lot better than I did three years ago when I last saw a doctor. And it wasn't for a physical either, but I'm just terrified to go to the doctor because I just don't know what they're, I worry about what they're going to tell me, I worry about things that I'm going to have to start doing going forward. I'm getting a little personal here, but, yeah, getting a little personal here, but like, I've got a family history of diabetes, and though I've cut out like, I'm gonna say 55% of all the sugar I have in my diet. I'm gonna cut off like 55% of all the sugar I used to have. I'm still waiting for that call of, yeah, you've got this. You've got boobish. And being told that I have to reform my life now or I have to reform my life now and start. or face consequences. I'm not ready for that conversation. Why I stand up, man? Okay, let's go. This will target your ass. Great! But, Fantastic. I guess I know I'm just being paranoid about it because, All right. like, this is probably today. It's probably the closest to normal workout nice. session I've had in awesome. at least four days. Just because of various things I've been doing these last four, at least these last four days, and other events that have happened three days prior to that. Good job. Very nice. Keep it up. supposed to tell your doctor everything when you go see him but and I'm gonna be you know very blunt and give very straight talk with the doctor when I see them okay perfect so it's just gonna be I'm just terrified of things he's gonna tell and say to me Plus the amount of things I'm going to walk into that office with. It's going to be... Okay. He's going to ask so many questions Amazing. about why I haven't been taking better care of myself. And I'm going to have to look at him dead in the end and say straight up, I'm terrified I'm terrified of what a doctor's going to tell me because my family history and how many things are wrong with my, within my family history. I'm both sides well of my family. With the fact that I basically didn't take care of myself at all for the first 30 years of my life. Great! Fine work. Challenge yourself. Oh boy, here we go. 
I did today. All right. Up he goes. I don't know if that's ever. I don't know if that's ever happened to you guys. Like. You know, I don't know if it's ever come up for you guys. Like, if you've gone, if you've been scared to go to a doctor for one reason or another. Just because I know I've got a. Like I said, I've got a laundry list of things wrong with my entire family that I'm not ready to have the discussion about. But, ready or not, I need to have that discussion. Myself down. Slowly twist to the left. Slowly return to the starting You can feel the targeted areas being worked. Really now? Anyway, while I get rebalanced, I apologize if you can hear anything outside. I didn't hear the garage door open. If my roommate, if my, the house owner slash roommate came home, and if that's him mowing the lawn or if that's the neighbors. I can't, I can't remember this fight. Well, I can't remember if it, this fight is like the half foot okay, point, the uh, pumper squish goes away, yes. or if we go the whole fight on this, or we go the whole uh, full boss how far with it, and then it dissipates and it goes to a regular drag out fight. I can't remember at this point. Then again, the last time we saw this was like six months ago.
There we go. Don't push it. Take a break and come eat. Like staying there with the stick poking him. Hey! Do something! Alright, this is cur this is curiosity coming. I gotta go see if it's the neighbor or my friend. It's the neighbor. Down we go. Sorry, the curiosity was getting to me, was getting too far to me. I don't think you guys can hear it if at all. Okay, let's move. Crush it with the but inside of your thighs. It was enough Great. that it was bothering me. Awesome. So I need to one to make sure. Okay. Wonderful. Tired at like 6:37. Perfect. It's like okay, I'm gonna go take a nap. I'm falling asleep in my chair. Very nice. I'm gonna go take a nap. Nice. See if I can re uh, write myself enough to you know, sleep a little bit later on today. Then I will sleep at night. Okay. Amazing. It's like all right, I'll be up a little bit late tonight, but that's fine. Nice. Not like I haven't taken a nap in the past, woken up late, and stayed up half the night, and then take another nap yes. and reset myself. Amazing. for the appointment I have at 1 o'clock later today. So, you made it. Stand up. No need to rush, though. I went to bed at 1.32 o'clock. 3 o'clock rolls around. 3 o'clock rolls around, and my brain screams at me, no, I'm not tired. No, and my brain screams at me, no, I'm not tired anymore. Get up. Come on, man, we have to sleep. Nope, get up. Fight that for about half an hour, eventually give up and go find him up. <clears throat> Just me to shout my brain at 3.34 in the morning. What's so important that we have to stay up now. Just don't want to go to sleep. Not a good answer, brain. Don't want to go to sleep. Ah, I see. So my insomnia, so insomnia is kicking in tonight. Strong, I see. Fantastic, great, great. Left. Left.
So. Tuesday, I went, okay, but I have to do a double recording session this week anyway, so now that I have the house to myself, I'm going to start recording. And that recording session went until about 11 in the morning. It's like, okay, well, I've got time to work, I've got like a little bit of time to work out, I think. And then I went, and then I had an appointment. And where I had an appointment, something else that I'll get to in a second. I was, I looked at how long it would take me to get there, and I went, oh no, I don't have, I don't have time to do anything before, okay, hold on, I don't have time to work out before I go to my appointment, so I guess I'm just going to be not working out today and going to my appointment. My anxiety at the appointment probably equ equated out to almost a whole full workout, so it's fine. So, I get to drive to my appointment. About an hour later, after I'm done getting ready, I go driving to my appointment. On the south side of the capital city. So I have, so, to pull back the curtain finally, the appointment, the appointment I had was for a, basically to trade in my current car and get a car that wasn't about to explode. And like I've had I've had one train process. Actually let me finish that story after this. Try this. What's your car? So I've had one trade-in process in my life. Which was which I'm not even a trade-in. Because technically the first time I got my own car, the car I had to get rid of, technically belonged to my parents. Title-wise but I still made all the payments on it. Excellent. So, it was my first time dealing with trading in a car and getting a new car. You should feel it in your stomach, not your arms. Lucky break. So, it's one o'clock, I'm there at my appointment. Good luck. And keep myself surprisingly calm, despite the fact that I had been awake since 9 p.m. the previous night, effectively, and just going, okay, answer all the questions about the car you can think of that was coming out with your first car, give them straight talk on what you can and can't do, and then three hours later, after some time with the after, after about half an hour of waiting for them to do some finishing touches on everything, I have myself a 2015 Kia Soul. And I gotta tell you guys, after driving crappy cars for so long, quote unquote crappy, okay, like I drove go. a, I think it was a 92 van, Dodge van of some kind. And you're before my smart car. Great. And then my smart car, when I bought it, it was already nine years old. So, not a lot of, I've been in many cars that have either okay. non-functioning or not a lot of features. But having this car now, there's just so many features I'm not used to, man. Yes. Like, yes. like for one thing, I still have to manually turn on and off the headlights, like I've had in every car in my life. But this is the first car I've had where it's smart to detect that if the motor isn't running, to turn the lights off after like 30 seconds. Good job. If I forget Perfect. to. Fantastic. Amazing. This is the first car I've had that has proper functioning cruise control. And I abused the hell out of that while driving home from the dealership. Instead of having to play play foot games with the gas pedal all the way down the interstate, I just got to my speed and pressed a button. I never had a car myself that could do that. 
also of note. This is the first car I've had that's had both Bluetooth technology and a USB drive. Excellent. Meaning, awesome. I can hook up my phone, or in this case, iPod, to my to my sound system. And have all of my audio come through. I've all my, like see what song I'm playing on my speak on my stereo system, and actually control what songs I'm hearing, and actually be able to skip tracks on it without having to grab the iPod. Well done. Keep I had up. that in a rental car when I went to Magfest one year. Thought it was the best feature in my life, and it is. Because I'm kind okay. of, when it comes to music technology, I'm Wonderful. kind of behind on that stuff. And I still use an iPod for everything. Even though I don't think they've made an iPod for... Seven years now? I want to say it's been seven years since the last proper iPod. Okay. But hey, sure. I'm thinking now that I actually have everything on a screen that I can see, I might look into buying a... I might look into just buying a, uh, what are those, a, na a Nano with too, way too much space on it, and just cramming all of my music onto that one thing. All right. Touch. Okay. An iPod Touch that's only 8 gigabytes in size. Well done. This still holds a good amount of music. But when you start putting things like flax on something that size, full lossless audio codex, it don't play it 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 fills up fast. Fine work. Because flax files are like quadruple they're like quadruple the space of an MP3. More. If not more. Stand up and not get lightheaded this time, body guy. That kind of worked. I'm gonna need some burger tonight. <laughs> get some proper protein in my system. Because I've been eating cheeses that have some protein, but not a lot. I need to get some actual proper protein in my system. Also, my neck is bothering me. Oh, what's the other thing? Oh, I was keep on it. So yeah. So yeah, having a having some having a car with a USB port so I can read what song is playing and skip the track if I want to skip it, like. Here, instead of reaching down for an iPod, pulling it up, distracting myself, clicking things, and then pu putting it back safely, I now just just go with my thumb and go bip, but I don't like it. This is the first car in, gosh, what is it, three, four years? I think it's a car. It's an 09, nine years old. Yeah, this is the first car I've had in four years. Yeah, the first car I've had in four years where I actually have more, I actually have more space for people and items. I basically can put another... Smart car, I could fit. If I had to put people in there, I could fit two full grown adults and a child. And, but the child had to sit in the trunk, which is literally like. Trunk's about as wide front to back as the ring. 
and the motor is just underneath the trunk. Anyway, so this is the first time I've had a car where I can seat four full-grown adults and a child, or five full-grown adults and have two of them complain, plus have space for several activities and hiding compartment stuff and put more emergency stuff in, in the car. Like, this is the first car I've had where if push came to shove, I could fit seven people in it. Other than the van I had God knows how many years ago. And I do miss that van. Like, that was a good van. But it was starting to have problems to the Even though I took good care of it, it was starting to have problems to the point where... Hey, game, come on. That van was starting to have problems to the point where I was taking it in for repairs every month, month and a half, and they were and they were not cheap. They were like five hundred dollar repairs. So that's what prompted me to get the smart car. But when the cost of repairs overall for the smart car started to outlay my initial buying price for it, I knew it was time to trade the smart car in. Thankfully, through smart savings and investments I made in my life, trading in for the car I have now was not that expensive. I can make the payments every month because I've got a windfall set up. And even then, I was actually able to put a decent chunk of money down up front instead of going in saying, yeah, I can't put any money down, but I need a car. That's, I don't think I've told that story actually. So we're all done. Well, we're almost done with Thursday, but we're almost done with Tuesday. So I'll loop back around to that later. So, end of the day, Tuesday. You know, I'm heading back home and I was like, okay, I'm going to do grocery shopping now for my two weeks. I'm going to do my grocery shopping now so that way in next week when I get my second COVID shot, I'm not panicking that I'm not going to have enough food. And also be deathly ill due to the side effects of the shot. So I go grocery shopping at the end while I'm doing it. Like, you know, since I'm spending a lot of money anyway, let's buy some things that I've been neglecting to buy for myself. To give myself a better quality of life. My friends. I bought my first pillow that I've ever bought in my life. Well, in my adult life, basically the last 15 years, I bought the first pillow I've ever bought in my life two days ago. Perfect! Good. That'll keep you going. Okay, lightheaded, need to pause for a minute. Hold on. So. Trying to find something that's like equivalent in size to, to just like telegraph this. Okay. So my head, well, no, nobody has like headphones. Not everybody has headphones like I have or know what they look like. Okay. I'm trying to find a semi common item around here I can use. Well, you're watching. This is a switch, one Nintendo switch. So the Pro Controller. The Nintendo Switch Pro Controller which is green screen, turn it around. So this Pro Controller is about the thickness of the pillow I had, the, ha the, the pillows I had that I threw away. All four pillows I had were about the thickness of this. The pillow I purchased Yelled at me that I'm too far away, probably. The pillow that the pillow that I purchased is that thick. A decent, good pillow. 
barely fits inside the case. It's so thick. Now this is not a good idea, good showcase. But you tell me which one, you tell me, you tell me which is more comfortable and is actually sleepable. And if you tell me, well, obviously the controller, obviously not the controller, because why would you sleep on your pro controller? You know what I meant. Let's do something standing up so I don't get lightheaded. Okay, let's move. Work on Maybe do a couple control. things standing up. Excellent. So yeah, Wonderful. I basically threw out 15. <laughs> the bat, the worst, okay, here's the worst part about all of them. So I finally threw out 15 year old pillows. Some of them were pillows that my grandmother made kind of in her downtime because she, she was a bit of a seamstress. Well done. Keep it up. So made with, you know, Very not nice. high quality Fantastic. wool, we'll say. All right. nice. Not high quality filling, rather. Awesome. One of the pillows was that. Two of the pillows were like, like well, really old hand-me-downs that really old hand-me-downs and gifts to my parents that I don't know where they exactly got it, but I knew they were kind of really off-brand ones. And one pillow that is somewhat newer, and I'm still hanging on to that because that pillow is only like five years old, but that pillow having memory foam in it. That pillow I'm keeping in the closet for yes. I did all that. I did all that on Tuesday. Came home, unpacked myself, sat down on my computer, went, oh god, I don't have I don't have the concentration to record anymore. I don't have the concentration to edit anything right now. Plus I plus I just got done doing a lot of adult things, quote unquote. Trademark even. It's like, okay, you know what, I can't do all this. I can't do any more today. I'm kinda at my limit right now. Let me go and just, let me go veg for the rest of the night. Sort of such. Well, that vegging didn't lead too far because after I had dinner, which was at like seven o'clock, I lasted about an hour to, I lasted a little over an hour, which was up till nine o'clock. My, bi my body finally went, okay, I'm tired. So I went and laid down on that bed and I don't know if it was because of the insomnia I had to Monday leading into Tuesday, or because I had pillows that were actually pillows. But I put my head down at night, and I actually cried because of how comfortable I was. Just because of just because of new pillows. Slept like a baby nine hours. Woke up, went rummaging through my refrigerator on Wednesday, and went, oh, chasm. I miss, I forgot to pick up some stuff at the store. Plus, I only bought two replacement pillows out of the four. I should get the other, I should get the other pillows, replace the other pillows. There's more. But, but I had woken up at five in the morning, so... This thought process was supposed to be like 10 o'clock in the morning. So I woke up at 5 in the morning, kind of went throughout my day, lazily doing some stuff. And then when the roommate left for work at 7, I got to record it. That session also went from 7 a.m. till 10, 30, 11. Okay, got that done on Wednesday. Did part of a workout in Ring Fit. When that was done, I went out and got the shop the things for sho uh, the things in shopping I needed. Tried to find a tried to find a replacement computer desk, and in my area, unfortunately, there's not a lot of good office supply store in the area. <laughs> but at least I tried. 
and I've realized I've been spending a lot, so I'm going to probably wait like a month or two, possibly, before I go looking for a computer desk, a proper computer desk, because I'm using a, a folding table right now, have been for the last five years. But get a proper uh, desk, and I have to get a bigger desk, because like this one I'm on right now, this is a, this is a six foot long desk. This six foot long desk barely holds everything I need for my setup. And also because of the fact that my monitors, monitors, both of them, they're both televisions. I also need a lot of room front to back, 30 inches at least. Well, probably close to like 28, but still. But because of those uh, guidelines, like even a super cheap, very bare bones, like desk with two legs and a strong core, that's still like 200 bucks, mid bare minimum, if I buy it new. So I'm kind of, I decided to wait on buying a new desk. Mm. Okay, let's go. Breathe out when you close your legs. But the plus side is, if I do buy a, if I do buy a desk with my brand new car, well, not brand new, but my new car, I can actually fit it in my car and not see how well I am at Tetris or how well I can drive with half a desk laying across my lap when I'm already confined to a space smaller than a confined to a space smaller than a theme park ride. Keep it up. Okay! Wonderful! So yeah. So I did that Wednesday. Last, I guess that's yesterday. Okay. Came home. Nice. Bought a new computer chair. You can't see the chair right yes. now, but it's just below the camera on your guys' end. Bought a new computer chair because I need that because Tuesday done. was the first day where I was sitting down to more sitting down for the length of time I sit down and I went blood uh -huh. sword. Okay. Perfect. Very nice. And like, I got a high tolerance for pain. Amazing. So if I go my butt sore, that means the chair Excellent. is either about to Excellent. reach the end of its life Keep expectancy, it or I've gone beyond it and I've ruined all padding in it, and I need to get something to replace it. Great. So. I got a nicer chair, not like a full well chair, but I got a nicer awesome. chair that I ordered. That's full nice. speech that was, according to the website I bought from, coming in today, but it's also on backwards, that's why I have to wait for the backwards to come through. And I know how backwards look, so back orders are, it could be here to, it could be, uh, could be getting shipped today, it could be getting shipped in a month. But I bought it now, regardless, simply because if I bought, if I wait, if I had waited to buy it when it was, I forgot to use money, the money drink. If I waited to buy the new chair in a month, yeah, if I had waited a month Drop to buy the chair, hips. the chair I wanted when it was actually in stock, it would have cost me as much, if not more, than the desks I'm buying up. Also, I've got a kind of a errant hanging nail I need to take care of, I just noticed. And then I've already talked about it a little bit earlier, but today, today in the world of adulting, I, I started to do the editing work. Wow. I'm getting very light exercise at 105 BPM, roughly. Tells, tells you that my head's not in the right spot. Better be old and proud than pretend you're still young. Wow, that's oddly prophetic. I like that. This one. Uh, no, this one. I'm putting that up on Twitter. I'm going to put that up on Twitter if I remember later. Mm. 
Oh yeah, today. So, today, once I finally woke up at noon, recovering from my bad sleep day on Tuesday still, Oh, that was core crushing. Well, I'm still not going to do core crushing because it still doesn't work. It works half the time, and because A rank is not required, it's a little rough. I'll probably forget about that and do it next and do it soon. Wait, 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 bro, Dean. Oh, future, I have foreseen it. You must survive all trials. Hard trial. Fortune was on the house. Consider it a token of my appreciation for saving the world. Eh? Uh, when I met the trio, who were talking about it? Did the little say, eh, pass by here? Ah, a fraud he is. Fantastic. Oh yeah, so today. Finally waking up at noon today, kind of recovering from my bad sleep day, and also basking in the fact that I have four fully functioning pillows so I can actually sleep properly for a change. I edited two videos of stuff coming up and I've just been enjoying editing these videos because like I've been sticking in little funny cutaway gags and you know sound you know sound edit or uh, sound effect edits but I've been enjoying editing these videos down finally now that I'm past the boring introductory parts of the game for it and then shortly before the stream, like I mentioned before, I finally, I finally got on my ass because I've been without my CPAP for almost a week now. I finally got my ass like, okay, I need to call my doctor and have a physical for the first time in several years to, and to also address medical things I have not touched for more than that. Like the fact I have been using an incredibly outdated in, uh, inhaler for my asthma the inhaler itself is like five years old and I've been using it for the three to four asthma issues I've had in every year. <laughs> what is it? Huxley? I'm sorry, I'm thinking about what that is and I'm thinking about what that is and hearing on it. Uh, Su I believe I'm pretty sure it'd be Su with the O with the O suffix on it to make it go from a U sound to an O sound. Tatsu e Tatsu e Tatsu e. Google that actually, I'm curious now. says it's Japanese and heritage, but I wouldn't be surprised if the name it's got is Vietnamese and heritage. Because I was looking it up and it, and it's, it also brought up, you are, you might also be interested in bok choy. I'm like, right, bok choy, that's also a lettuce. Uh, green, rather. So I don't know. Figuring things out here today. Give me a second. I'm getting the headache. Probably from my lack of eating, but don't do this at home. I'm definitely not taking Advil on camera. Nope. Definitely didn't just take a dose of Advil on camera. Uh, wah, wah, wah. Man, 
I'm really out of it. I'm probably not even over, yeah, I'm barely even over 100 and I'm over halfway done. I'm really out of it today, man. <sighs> okay. Enough of that. Do a quick bounce to get myself re recalibrated. Oh, I forgot to eat this. I forgot to... Well, here's the first thing I'm going to do. What costs five? You cost five. Everything in the corner costs five? Let's just get one I'm not going to use. And smoothies. Let's consume this smoothie for extra ingredients. A little too little too late, but it's better late than never. And now let's continue. Okay, I see what's gonna happen. It's gonna land there. That isn't worth it. Tacos tonight instead of just burgers. Give myself many food groups in one thing. I actually eat something substantial for a change instead of just instead of just mac and cheese. I'm really bad about that lately. I need to like actually have proper meals prepared for a change. I've been eating. I've been eating kind of crappy the last few days. Okay. Let's switch okay. sides. Don't forget to switch Let's that out really quick. That's not a good stretch, but something. So, something else. Um, I was gonna. I was gonna talk about something else just a second ago, and then it just blew it out of my head. Oh, something else. So, was something else random? I kind of want to do a little bit more recording today after I'm done with this stream, if my mind will cooperate with me enough. I want to record a game for a friend. I remember I want to record a game that a friend of mine worked on and, prom and like promote out there to like help kickstart him. Also to put a limelight on the itch.io platform. Because there's some pretty good games that go off on itch.io now. Like, Friday Night Funkin' is probably the biggest one I can think of. Uh, Palo's been working on his Smash TV clone clone game called What What a Year. What a rotten year. What a horrible year, that's what it is. It just spells Y for the acronym, but it's called What a Horrible Year. And then the game that my friend just got done working on for his... Uh, uh, not Master Ceases. His cornerstone, his basically the thing he had to put together to tell his college, hey, here's everything I've learned while attending your school for the last three years. This is the project that we worked, that me and a couple people worked on to actually say we know what we're doing.
uh, I have new, what is it? I think I said it already, but if I didn't, reiterating because bad territory for memory. Um, I've got new Pokemon Snap here in my life that I would like to, that I'm going to record. Uh, think fast for, I should record Think Fast for. And then I'm just going to leave Sit here okay. next to me Let's select the skill. until I'm ready to. Uh, there it goes. Until I'm ready to probably do a flying playthrough of New Snap, just because it seems like it seems like that's the kind of game where you want to go into it blind for maximum entertainment value, rather. Got it. And who knows? Maybe I'll be feeling, maybe I'll be feeling the wind in my hair, and I'll want to sit down and record a full blind playthrough of that during my quote unquote week off. But what I would probably rather do in my week off is actually record a side series. You know, do like I did in the old days of, of my YouTube career before I started taking on other adult responsibilities of pick a week where I can't, where I can't, I shouldn't do anything else for the main series and just record a side series. The whole thing, front to back, start to beginning. Start to beginning, beginning to end. Hula. Okay, let's move. I have Could I have done something like that? About two or three months ago now? But as side series, Sunday series finish up, I like to have more on the back burner and ready to go. Just so you know, emergency case, I can pull them out of the woodworks for a main week situation. But I can also leave it sitting in the background for when that time comes. If that makes any sense. Hold on. Nice work. Give my body a second to re recalibrate. Holy hell. Mm. No, I don't like this. I don't like this feeling of being constantly lightheaded. calf is sore. I think I had a cramp in the middle of the night and I just slept through it. But I'm like the plague. I'm going to be avoiding mountain climbers today. Just because my right leg is killing me. That's okay. We take those L's. Now I'm gonna start with uh, I'm gonna start with Russian twists, and then go on from there. Also, just so I can have a little bit of a reassurance here, so to say.
stomach when you breathe out. Hmm. I think I just had a break. I think I just had a breakthrough. I'm probably gonna regret saying that, but I feel like I just had a breakthrough. Okay. Because that's the first time I've stood up in a while and not felt incredibly lightheaded. A little lightheaded, yes, but not incredibly lightheaded. Some days you just can't function. Oh, it's dead. Okay. Well done. I heard the noise of it dying as I was starting to turn to calm down. Come down, and I thought, "Oh God, what notification did I just get?" <laughs> I don't remember making that notification noise. Oh, anyway, let me hide off camera here and do a quick readjustment. More or less, you just need to pull my pants off. I hope I'm feeling better tomorrow. I hope I'm feeling better over the course of the weekend, rather. Because it would kind of suck to go in for my appointment on Monday to get my second COVID shot and walk in. <sighs> Hello, I'm here for my second COVID shot. Sir, are you not feeling well? No, I've been sleeping like crap lately. I think it's affecting my physiology. You should go to a doctor for that. I already got my schedule. I already got appointment scheduled. I forward to your next appointment is until next week. So that's how, that's not how I want to be walking into my second COVID shot appointment. It is already sounding like I've got already like I've got got the death on me. I like how that whole scenario played out because I literally just said. I like how the whole scenario played out because I just got done saying that I've been sleep that I don't want to I don't want to I don't want I want to avoid something else like the plague, which surprise guess what we have right now a plague. It's called, it's called stupid people not listening to scientists who not listening to various scientists who definitely haven't been studying this disease for the better half of their last. Uh, yeah, not, not listening scientists definitely have been studying this disease for the last year of their life and have the certification to break down and do the math to make sure we don't die from the disease from diseases like this over the last 20 years of their life. No. Better go ahead and listen to some. Better go ahead and listen to some keyboard warrior mothers who know nothing about what's going on in the world. Other than making sure that their hobby brings home a paycheck. Whew. What was that? Blueberries, grapes, and some grapevine? That don't sound bad, actually. That don't sound bad at all today. Speaking of that, that's something else. So generally, I try and avoid energy drinks, right? But I unfortunately have this curse up in the back of my head. You never see it come back. Hello, Kasai and stream friends. How are you today? I hope you're having a wonderful Thursday.
just to chill myself for a minute while I take it, while I recuperate and take care of some personal grooming things like my nails. Hi, there, hi there, everybody. My name is Pretty Scooter. I've been streaming. I've been stream. I'm an affiliate streamer of approximately three years, and I've. This is what we're doing right now. It's been a Thursday. Has been a Thursday tradition for about a year now, where I play Ring Fit: The Adventure Mode. This is New Game Plus, so all story beats are kind of null point right now. It's just unique writing. The last thing I'll shill for myself is that I'm not just here on Twitch. Check links below my below this page here. You'll see where I am everywhere else online. We good? We good? Let's go back to this. But yes, hello Kasai. How was your stream? What were you streaming? And hopefully you had a good stream. You did it! No fear. Okay, one fear. Don't Starve. I have a weird relationship with Don't Starve. I know it's a good game and there's a good game hiding in there. But there's a lot of games, a lot of games I have problems with my patience and waiting for a game to build to the point of this is what they advertise. Don't Starve is that situation where I like it and like the, and like the rogue uh, portion of it where if you mess up at one step in the process, you have to start all the way over with a new map, new items, new everything. Well, sort of like that. I know they, I know they introduced modes where you can, where your stuff just respawns on the map and you can get back to it. But the build up to what the meat and potatoes of the game is is kind of what I have a problem with. Don't starve. Once you're actually in the action, I have, I'm fine with it. But there's been many times where I've had friends stream Don't Starve together, where we play together, and I just kind of go autopilot for like, I gotta go autopilot for like 70% of the stream. And then we get to like winter for the first year, and then it's like, okay, things are starting to happen now. My brain goes, time to shine, time to wake up. Wait, what's been happening for the last 70% of the stream? What did I miss? It's happened so so many times I play Don't Starve Together that I just like clue in way too late and don't understand what's going on. Like I said, I know it's a good game. There's a reason why I keep, it's still getting DLC despite the fact it's at least five years old. It's a good game. I just think the early part drags on too long for me to enjoy it. Also, Battle for Bikini Bottom. I have the PC, the PC re-release of that game. I'm scared to, I'm partially scared to stream it without like muting all noises because the proper SpongeBob SquarePants song is in the title screen. And holy cow, do Viacom, Viacom go money when you if you do that. Which. If you're gonna, depending upon how you do it, Kasai, if you're gonna save that highlight for on Twitch, maybe cut out anything that, that wasn't super important of the title screen segment, or that had the title screen on there. Just saying, Twitch has cracked down with DMC, DMCA stuff and they've not done it gracefully at all. Hopefully, if you've been doing it, if you've been playing it multiple times, then you probably shouldn't worry about it. But if this is like, Ready? The Go! if you haven't gotten any DMCA claims yet, don't worry about it right now. 
But just be wary that you might get one if a bot decides to pick it up eventually. Now go. I said don't hit that bomb. Because... Even though, what is it? So I think we got a, I don't know where, I don't know when or where it is on my channel, or when it's going to go live, my YouTube channel rather, but I have a Think Fast video for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated, and I basically just muted the entire intro, I muted the entire intro for that Good. shit, and I still got caught on the uh, menu, and I still got caught on the menu screen transition for you on the YouTube side. Slow down there, Junior. Uh, let me read. We're just concerned. Has, has its oh no, I mean, that works too, but just know that. Bots don't, like, I think you're fine now. If you think you're fine, keep doing what you're going to do. But notoriety doesn't have any weight when it comes to a bot. Like, if a bot thinks that you're infringing on copyright material, it's going to ding you. But you do what you're going to do, man. I'm not your dad. I'm not your poppy. I'm not going to stop you from what you're going to do. <laughs> I'm just giving you a warning that this is a possibility. And just be wary that it could happen. You do you, though. This one. Uh -huh. And there goes the, ex the experience boost. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Right, I hit that. Uh -huh. I hit B. That puts it away. Money got no money. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, honey got no stock, rather. Uh -huh. Excuse me. But yeah, like, I don't know. I guess I've just been in. I've just been in the content creation game for so long, and I've been. Do and for the past seven years, roughly, I've been dodging around copyright stuff as best I can. I try and warn people who are not as versed in content creation, streamed, live, or otherwise. Again, I think that more or less boils down to... I think that, I think that more or less just boils down to me being who I am, where I try and share all my knowledge possible. Let me make some smoothies really quick. AK, let me just make more of these. And see what else I can make with the ingredients I have gathered. Ash Teddy. Oh, wait, right. The money and the experience stuff is up here. Haha. <laughs> Zero. Can can do zero. Need some corn. Pfft. I hate that I have to say it like that, by the way. Need some corn. How are we doing on these? Plenty of those. <sighs> yeah, it's been... This has been kind of a long...
Far, far, thank you for resubscribing. 20, or 20, 38 months. Good lord, my man. Like, my man, good lord. Oh yeah, Megalovania is fine. Like, as long as it's not specific remixes, that's fine. There's, uh, Shirax, I think is the, I think is the person I'm thinking of. There is a guy called Shirax who has done a, basically a remix of the entirety of the Undertale album. And I've used his, I've used his works on videos before, but because they weren't directly from, like, but because those works weren't for, like, over, uh, overclocked remix for the source, and even though I gave, and even though I gave, um, proper acknowledgement of the fact it was his work, I still got hit with a uh, content claim. Not a strike, a claim. Meaning, whatever video I put that on, I either had to mute that segment of the video, or just, or, uh, mute that segment of the video, or take the L on, on uh, revenue. Um, overclocked remix, think like computer terms, overclocked remix, they have a library of 4,000 plus songs and their TOS on using their music is as long as you say where it came from initially, you're fine using their, their music. They don't care as long as you say where it came from at the very least. Better if you say who made the remix. Shrax, uh, like I said, I've been hit, I've been hit with their, I've been getting dinged by their stuff before. Which, it's not the fault of the remixer. It's not their fault at all. It's how uh, keeping all of your content... Yeah, no, it's good. It's good stuff. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm saying in terms of content creation, it's bad for content creators. <laughs> um, Looks tasty. Okay. But yeah, in terms of like uh, content creation, you know... In terms of content creation, people who want to protect their 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 uh, intellectual properties and, and things they've created, they strike up deals with very varying uh, rights holders to make sure that their remix doesn't get used without their consent on third-party sites. But that also bleeds over to people who are giving proper credit, but because of how bots that scan for music work. If it catches that remix in any capacity, that makes it so you don't get anything back. Or if they feel like being extra saucy, they can go ahead and say, they can go ahead and say, hey, I don't vibe with this. They use my work without saying anything. Give them the big old copyright strike, which basically boils, and that basically boils down to Twitch or YouTube. If you get three of those within five years of each other, uh-oh, everything you worked for is dead. Gone the way of the goldfish. <laughs> Dodo, but you get it. Let me get a drink of water here quick. private server really quick <laughs> just see what they're up to because somebody was like hey maybe at some point later maybe at some point this weekend week uh, week or weekend we can play uh we can play some sonic world last two card and i was like oh for sure i'm down for that unfortunately i don't know if that means they want to play today tonight tomorrow next week I don't know. I, when people say, would you like to play something in the future? I don't go, what time? I go, yes, sure. Just give me, just let me know. 
and also solve any in-between parts well in advance. <laughs> Those in between parts being, in this case, being what mods you're running. Can I get the full a folder of your mods so we don't have to spend, so we don't have to spend ten minutes downloading your mod pack. Because I will say, I've, I think I've talked about Sonic World Blast Two card before, but if for those who don't know what it is, it's what is it? It's it's a mod. A Sonic World Blast 2, which in that is a mod of of the original like 91 Doom. So it's a mod of a mod. And even though they've tweaked the internet capabilities for that to be super streamlined, unfortunately it's cap a lot of it's capped at like 256 kilobit for transfer stuff. Just because of the technology it's based on. It takes a while to download other people's mod packs within the game. Great. Let's go. I think it's kilobits? Yeah, it's kilobits. Pretty sure there's not too many young people in here, but I will say the whole hierarchy for how bits work is bytes. A long time ago, a byte was where we all started, and that was fairly large. And then we got better at putting it together, and then we got to kilobits, which is 1,024 bytes. So we got to that many kilo. We got to kilobits, and we started getting better with it, also with transferring it. But then we started getting to a point where megabytes were common that's 100 1024 kilobits so 1024 times 1024 is is how many bytes goes into a megabyte but now we're along in technology where we're up to gigabytes download upload all that jazz for gigabytes there is 1024 megabytes in a gigabyte so whatever number i said to multiply for multiply by another 1024 for how many bytes are in a gigabyte and we're starting to get store and we're at a point where terabyte storage drives are common are commonplace now they're no longer high end so one terabyte is 1024 gigabytes now you can be crazy and we can keep going to petabytes which is the next from which is the from terabyte well, the terabyte equivalent but yeah yeah so you know that petabytes but I'm telling I'm going through this whole history because you know we're out here with storage with storage facilities that have petabytes and whatever after petabytes I think it's like decabytes or something like that I could be wrong probably wrong But even with that transfer fee as fast as it is, we'll st we're still working with 1993 transfer rates for Sonic World Blast 2 cart. So your internet and the other person's internet may be, may be buco bucks fast, but limitations of the software stop it from being that fast. <laughs> Plus it also lags the server, just because of limitations. I don't know if all, everything I said is 100% factual, but it's what I understand from my two year endeavor into IT and what little I've retained from my friend who has graduated with a bachelor's in IT. Probably close to, probably good enough at it to get his master's. But anyway. Very nice. Perfect. But. Fine work. 
That's also kind of half the reason why I started so quote unquote early today. Because if he wants to play tonight, I want to make sure I'm available. Good, good, good. I was hoping that would KO that because I am not. With the fact that I've been lightheaded most of, the, of this stream, I mean, I'm feeling better now, but with the fact that I've been lightheaded most of this stream today, I wasn't feeling like I was going to have enough gusto in me to do mountain climbers and not pass out. I'll fix my sleep schedule. Which is probably the base route for this issue. Okay, let's go. Crush it with the inside of your thighs. But I said it earlier, but I'll repeat myself. Monday night into Tuesday, I basically was awake for 24 hours. And in that sleep deprived state, I didn't well I didn't done. have a laid back day. Because I went and made various life improving right. choices, which included better bedding for myself. A better computer chair for myself. And also, the big thing, a new car. Not brand new, it's still used, but it's a new car. How I managed my entire day yesterday on almost no sleep, I wish I could tell you. My deep. Yeah, like, the thing with Don't Starve, in general, not uh, together and standalone, I know they have different save states, so to say, but all together, that game, that game seems to function a lot like the Binding of Isaac unlocking process works, from what I know. Because how Binding of Isaac works is, like, yeah, Binding of Isaac is a lot shorter, you know, 10 minute runs, roughly. 10 to 15 minute runs depending on how deep you go inside the game but you have to do all these unlocking criteria to unlock new items and new characters you can't use the new characters until you unlock them or die in the run when you do use that new character they have their own stipulations rules that you can use to unlock another character but that the previous characters can use to unlock it but it's harder and you see why this gets messy I think Don't Starve is, I don't, I think Don't Starve is not as bad about unlock criteria, but it falls within the same vein just because of how long it gets to get the ball rolling. You know, two to three hours to hit the point of, you could unlock somebody, or something. Okay, I didn't know if Don't Starve Together didn't have the additional had all characters unlocked or not because when I played it I played as Wendy no Abigail I tend to play as the character who had the ghost twin sister where if she was where if the ghost 
If the ghost was quote unquote dead, I was useless. start with the W in that game. Um, yeah, so I either played as Wendy, I'm probably saying the wrong character name, or uh, Wilfred, I think it is, the strongman. Basically, the more full he is, the more, the more useful, the more damage and fighting he can do. Oh no! Slink bugs! <clears throat> tree time? Tree time. Turn into a tree and wait for them to leave. <clears throat> Wolfgang, that's the guy's name. I got the name wrong. Hold on. Pardon the adjustment. I can't stand on my one foot for this, so we just have to do it the lazy way. Stay rooted until they go um, away. But of course, when you're playing a game where you're starting out, when you play a game of Don't Start Together, where food is a, ra is a really hard resource to come by, When food is a really hard uh, commodity to come by, when you play as Wolfgang, surprise, in the beginning, you're useless. But once you have, like, ways to almost automate the food, then you're just godlike. Apparently, I like to play a lot of characters that just have, that must be near endgame, must be, like, have, like, a three-hour buildup to be able to do anything. <laughs> Her name is Willow. I think it's Willow. I think Wendy is the pyromaniac. Comes comes with a flint box so she can light up so she can light up dark areas. Has a problem setting things on fire if she's insane. Or going insane. Or is Willow the fire starter? I forget. I know it's Wendy and Willow. And then I, I remembered Wolfgang was the one I used to play in, to, in together with friends. I've played, I've played Don't Start Together. I've seen various animations. Unless you're talking about like fan creations or something like that. Clay's? Who's Clay? Oh, that's the company, sorry. No, I haven't seen them. I think I've seen the ending, the uh, animations for some of the stuff, just because when the game was popular, people were uploading, were uploading, uh, uploading, you know, here's what the ending cutscene is for this character, not how to get there, just what it looks like. Also, the fact that you can unlock the quote-unquote final boss as a character, and the fact that... And the fact that you can get back to the ending with the final boss, and basically it becomes a it becomes a Groundhog Day situation where you can still play as the boss character, but they uh, but they get Groundhog Day into the cycle the cycle of Don't Starve once again.
just remember that I'm trying to read like eight point font about 15 feet away. Wes, okay, I think that's one of the characters. I don't know if that's the final boss or if that's somebody that just got added recently. Oh, he's the mime. I thought his, uh... No, they talked about the mime on the dev blog, so I know it exists. Also know the game has uh, workshop has workshop compatibility so if somebody's made a character a character mod they can officially have it imported in but through Steam some characters work and fit within the universe some characters are what if Sans was a don't starve forgive me for being very rude with my praising I think I think there's one character on there. I forget the actual name, but they're but it was like one of the earliest characters called she was, it was like the Moon Goddess, where she had her own light source. She had her own light source at night and was better suited to doing anything at night. Okay, let's switch sides. But during the day, she was she was we, she was she was weaker than Willow before she has her ghost sister. Basically, making an oddity of she was the Night Watch character. There's probably other characters in the base game that do that. But I just remember when the uh, workshop was first implemented into Don't Starve, like she was the premier mod character because she was the most balanced out of everything that was on the workshop. Like, when I still had Don't Starve installed on my computer, it was like, the two the two blog posts for the longest time were Steam Workshop, now, into, now, now supported. And just above that is Moon Goddess, available. A lot of workshop stuff in general is hit or miss. Like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to regain my balance, and my breath here. I'm a reminder. I had an insomniac episode Monday into Tuesday, but the Steam Workshop is, if it's implemented, if it's implemented into everything, it works. It works fantastic because people who try every mod for a game will give it a rating, so the stuff that works is usually higher rated. Also, do I have another little hangnail pop No, I don't. Okay. Right, no, they're not wrong. They're not wrong. Like, I'm, what am I trying to think of? What's the game that uses the workshop trying to think of? Okay. Well, I guess mods in general. So a lot of games that have mods or have mod support, here's how their mods go. Here's how the mods usually end up going. Is it's color change for a character usually the least useful thing but it's still high up on the list characters that that don't work how they were intended to and are actually detrimental to the player are below the color changes characters that don't work how they're intended to but are actually broken and make the game easy are above the color changes um characters that are completely balanced 
are next up on the hierarchy. And then I'm forgive me for saying this, but I'm spe I'm just spitting truth. If the if the if the uh, game has female characters, nude mods are above are above that, and then above that is essentials for playing the game, like the playset mod you mentioned. You may think I'm being crass by saying by saying that type of mod at number two. I'm not going to repeat the words, but that's how modding goes. Am I reasoning for that explanation? Well, let's put a blunt, blunt the young Padawan. People be horny on me. People be horny on the corporate account. <laughs> I'm just out here spitting facts, man. I'm not trying to create waves. Yes. One second. Lightheaded again. Give me a second. Like, well, okay. Okay, let me finish off this this top conversation because it's kind of an odd topic anyway. When I used to play World of Warcraft, I would go get mods or add-ins so I'd have something to do while waiting for flights from one zone to another or while waiting for dungeons runs to get started, all that stuff. I would use to find plugins and add-ons to A, make resource gathering easier and B, to have little mini games within World of Warcraft to buy my time, namely Bejeweled. In searching for those mods, I came across so many lewd mods for World of Warcraft that I could I had a hard time finding the minigame mods.
which may also contribute to the fact that so many people so many people prefer to play as the female characters or the male characters, but that's tomatoes to models at this point. Let's not get in that discussion. Time. I think it's Tonka time. I need to watch the history of everything again. That's that's such a great bit on. That's such a great video on YouTube. Okay, let's go. Breathe in when you lower your legs. Neat. Keep it up. Okay. Nice. Great. Amazing. All right. Keep it up. Okay. Meanwhile, somewhere the horse is being tanked. Well done. Yes. Yes. Weather alert! Volcanoes are erupting. Weather alert! Fast land. What? Fantastic! Something alive in your chest. Alright! Excellent! Amazing! Fine work! Nice! Fantastic! Yeah. Wonderful. I'm kind of running out of steam now. <sighs> like, despite the fact I've taken so many breaks to make sure I don't pass out, I'm still, I'm very much running out of steam at this point. Very nice. Perfect. Again, blame my poor sleep schedule. Or lack thereof a sleep schedule. mention something else I should mention especially for those of you that follow art accounts or those that label themselves as not safe for work be careful going on Twitter now on your breaks at least on your phone they got rid of image cropping on Twitter for uh, phone apps so yes. it will show if you're on your phone it will show the entire picture so just be wary of that if you're going to go on Twitter now. Okay. Great. Nice. <sighs> the Beastars community is due to it keeping the luminous in check. Okay. Like some other anime communities and some things being included. Also, as Ten more. by fact, I have a lot of good friends who are furries. Awesome. Like, good. Good job. real talk, straight talk here. Good job. There are a lot of, Great. there are a lot of eccentric people in the furry community, Great. but they're both are also the people that are the uh, that are the vocal minority. Your muscles look so happy. Like those are the people who go out of the way to make the uwu shit posts out there. Some of them being funny, of course, but a lot of them are the weird ones. So the vocal minority do give furry do give furries a bad name, but 
I believe there are plenty of them that respect that people don't quite follow what they're after and will be respectful unless it's an area catered specifically for what they're into. I can't believe I'm having this, this discussion of words right now where if somebody were to be listening outside my door, they'd be questioning what the hell I'm talking about. But like, I mean like, even though they're closeted, I mean I know a handful of people who are into that as well. They don't bring it up in conversation unless somebody else does. Like there are well-meaning people within that community, a lot of them where they realize unless they have an area specifically dedicated to what they're into, they don't go crazy with it. It's once again, the vocal minority that say, everybody has to be what I'm into. And if you're not, well, sucks to be you because you're now gonna get blasted at you even louder. Like, spit your game, spit your game, dog. Spit your game, be, be what you're about, your but understand hips. when you've uh, crossed the threshold. Read the room, as it were. I have, I have to tell people, I know for myself, I have to tell people, hey, if I'm being too ex eccentric about, about video games and my passion for them, keep me in check. Cause I know I get way too on, I know I get way too on with uh, or I get way too into what I'm talking about with video games at times and I have to tell people, hey, pull me back in, reel me back in, otherwise nobody's going to be happy by the end of today. Let me continue and see what we're dealing with. 300, mile run, how long is this stage? 10 minute stage. I don't think I got it in me today. I don't got it in me. Yeah, I really don't got that in me anymore today. It's already seven o'clock. Yeah, I'm gonna be finishing up here, so. Like normally I can go for an hour plus, but because of my bad sleep schedule and bad my inability to use the CPAP to help me sleep better. I just don't have the energy today. So I'm gonna cut it here. So yeah, did anybody have any questions before I wrap things up? Let's begin our static stretching. Thanks. You don't need the ring collar. I've been sleeping nine to 10 you hours to kind of get over my insomnia episode earlier this week. But without CPAP, that equates to about three stance, to four hours of place sleep. Place your hands on your knees and drop your hips. Rotate your left shoulder inward and extend your left hip joint. Return to facing yeah. forward. I think now I've talked about the fact the I've got right sleep apnea. Like, it's, it's not as rampant because I'm... Point yeah, it's not as rampant outward. as it used to be three years ago because I've lost some left weight where sleep apnea shouldn't affect me as much Bring yourself back but slowly. sleep apnea for those of you who don't know your throat collapses because of because of uh, extreme stress on it you. and when that happens your body has to wake up to say hey open the airway so you can get oxygen into your system so because now you're constantly having to wake yourself up due to your muscles relaxing too much in your throat you never hit REM sleep rapid eye movement sleep so for people with sleep apnea for every eight long. hours both people in this situation get your left arm to the, the person with sleep apnea with your right arm. equivalently gets Pull actually two hours and of stretch sleep the muscles of your left to shoulder. every other person eight two to three I should say now do the same on the opposite side Slowly stretch out, but be careful not to bounce. You can read more into it if you want to. That's just the brief, that's just the brief uh, synopsis of what sleep apnea is. Bring yourself so, back slowly. A lot of people right with it have a CPAP, which goes over either their nose or their entire face. 
while arching back your and basically wrist, will force air into their forward. force air into your system to keep your throat open so you don't wake up in the middle of the night again now do the same on it affects the people side. more who it, it affects people more and is more common in people who are heavier set you can get a deeper stretch by but once you have sleep apnea closer. it doesn't just poof away when you lose weight I think it I'm pretty sure it sleep it stays with you for the majority of your life Bring yourself once you are diagnosed slowly. with it join your hands together in front of you position your glutes as if you're going to sit down then stretch your hands forward So like I'll I'll sleep nine ten hours now, I'll sleep nine or ten hours now. You know, Bring recover from an insomnia episode slowly. or anything, but I'm still in the grand scheme physically. only getting like Good three job. to four hours of sleep. But like I said, I've got but I have a doctor's appointment set up to handle everything I haven't addressed. Okay, that's fine. But I've already got a doctor's appointment set up next week. To address everything I have not addressed that is I should have been addressing for the last five years. Everything's set up, everything's fine, I'm gonna be handling it. Uh, before I go, oops, before I go, I'm gonna add some skills to my personal workout routine. For one, I wanna add warrior one pose to this and two before I get into this I want to add that I want to add this to the front of this there I've added more exercise to my personal thing so all right now that's done we can go ahead and do a raid. Um, let's go. Let me go through the list of what, who I have available right now, while I get undone, and see where I can send you guys for the for the evening. For those that want to keep watching stuff as we go into the night. So, following. Um, I was actually with her last week, but, well, let me go, let me get things done in order of how I normally do this. So starting off here, uh, Zizix, uh, aka Gary, mo associated the most with, most well associated with Lithero. He is just chatting right now, but it looks like he's going to be playing some Skullgirls. Um, pretty of time, long time friend. I used to go by Laharl or used to go by Laharl Kuhn at one point, or Sage of Time, I think was the other one. But Pretty of Time, he's playing OG Legend of Zelda, the NES one. Uh, Barry Blitz plays my good friend from high school, Jess. Uh, Jess, I almost said her full name. She prefers Jess, not Jessica. Uh, she's playing Monster Hunter Rise. I was with her last week to kind of get her through some ropes of it. She's playing with her husband. And lastly, Bubba is about to go into playing Heart Gold Soul Silver. I don't remember if this is a Nuzlocke or just a casual playthrough. Yep, so run through the list again. Gary probably playing the Skullgirls fighting game. Pretty of time, Legend of Zelda. Uh, Fairy Blitz plays Monster Hunter with her husband. Bubba, Heart Gold, Soul Silver. What would you guys like to go to? If I get my choice, I'm going to go raid Barry Blitz because she's an old high school friend and we're kind of exchanging raids back and forth. Uh, but yeah, if you if you guys don't have a preference, I will run over. I will throw it over to Jess. My choice, Steiner's choice, Steiner's choice. It looks like. Okay. So let me mute this, so I can come over here. 
They are fighting Ajanath. With friends. So yeah, they're fighting Ajanath. Right now. Uh, let's make a raid message. And I'm sorry I'm holding up, Kasai. Listen, man. Don't let somebody tempt you to play something you don't think you're ready for. I made that mistake with several games in my life. Your raid message is... Your raid message is going to be who got carted the most. To explain that, carting is basically you die in a battle and you have to go back to spawn and then come back to the fight. So, who got carted the most? Make sure I've copied that. But yeah, let's go raid her. So, thank you all so much for coming out today. I will hopefully see you Saturday for something. I don't know what yet. I'll, I'll, I'll think about it over this week. Anyway, you folks have a great rest of your night. I am going to go clean up and have some substantial food instead of just little snacks like granola bars. Have a good night, everybody.